the counter argument to, well, they came from a situation that was horrible and now they're in a better situation. Okay, well, no, that's not true. They, they, they came from a situation where they were free. The global fight against human trafficking is taking place right here in the Coachella Valley, sometimes in places you might not sus suspect, like some street vendors. As News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco reports, a Riverside County task force is working to raise awareness about the problem and help those who are being exploited. You see it in nearly every valley city. Stands with fruit or coconut water for sale popping up on street corners. These are the types of scenarios investigator Aaron Wolf monitors for potential human trafficking victims. Uh, these individuals have paid some type of exorbitant smuggling fee to come up through Mexico into the U.S. Wolf says usually once victims are smuggled into the country, they're forced to sell items on the street to pay off their debt. But not everyone is a victim. Labor trafficking is the exploitation of another human being through force, fraud, fear, coercion. It's common for individuals, typically from L.A., Wolf says, to get dropped off at these types of locations, either by a large truck or a van. Investigators then have a conversation with an individual to spot anything unusual. Using that method, I approached a fruit vendor in Palm Springs and asked what a typical workday means for him. I'm alone all day and they give me the fruit already prepared. I just focus on selling. Daniel has been doing this for the past six months since arriving from Mexico. He says he and others drive down from L.A., and once he's dropped off in the morning, he's out selling until 5 or 6 at night, even in the sweltering heat. Each cup of fruit sells for $8, and he says he keeps very little of that. We don't know for sure if he's a victim, but his circumstance matches a lot of the criteria investigator Wolf says they pay close attention to to identify a possible case. They don't know where they are. Oftentimes, they don't have access to use a restroom. Lawful food vendors like Juan Carlos Barajas have seen what they believe are victims being exploited in their communities. That is concerning. It's, it's, it's sad. He says the lack of oversight is also concerning when it comes to the health and safety of customers. No permits, no license, no inspections. They make their money and take off. He thinks city, county, and state officials should do more to educate the public about the problem. As long as there's business on their end, they're going to keep coming. The county task force prioritizes education to help combat human trafficking, including with billboards like this one along the 10 freeway. From 2022 to this year so far, the sheriff's department has investigated about 260 human trafficking cases, roughly 80 of which were in the Coachella Valley. There were more than 130 arrests, 39 of which were not related to human trafficking. But the department has never made any arrests related to street vendors specifically. How difficult is it to get someone to admit to you that they are victims? It's extremely difficult. Wolf says most of the suspects are from out of town. He says some individuals don't consider themselves victims. In other instances, traffickers control their victims by confiscating legal documents, threatening to harm or even kill family, and misrepresenting U.S. law and consequences for illegal entry. When they come to America, they don't understand what their rights are. Despite some challenges, Wolf says the goal is to connect human trafficking victims with resources. And rescue as many people as we can. In Palm Springs, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3. Well, Wolf went on to say that if you see something suspicious, they want you to call it in. Most investigations are initiated by complaints. You can find more information on the resources available aimed at tackling human trafficking at KESQ.com.